Yo, welcome into the New Level Podcast, the number one podcast for entrepreneurs and ambitious people that want more out of life. In today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to make your vision happen. All right, I'm not going to judge anybody off of their vision. Your vision can be you wanting the body of your dreams, you wanting to go consistently to the gym, you wanting to be financially stable, you wanting to be the most successful at your job. You wanting to start up that business. Whatever your vision is, it's tied to a thought. That thought is tied to your mind and your mind is connected to your imagination. All right, that's what a vision is. So in today's episode, we're going to be talking about how to make your vision happen. Now, the purpose of me making this podcast is number one, people that want more out of life. Obviously, a vision is something that you see mentally and may not see physically. This episode is going to be for people that can't settle being normal. They just got a bad itch because they can't settle being normal. All right. This episode is for people that believe they can have and be more in life than where they are right now. These are for people who don't want to be comfortable right now because they have so many other things they want to accomplish in their life. All right. So jumping right into it, how to make your vision happen. Number one, you have to you have to understand your imagination is a gift. A lot of the times I think we take our imagination as something that's just like, oh, it's just there. It's just there because I have a brain. It's just there because I'm human. It's just there because I have a conscience. You know what I'm saying? You look at animals and maybe you understand that animals, they don't, I'm, I don't think animals imagine things. So it's very, it's very, it's very easy to look at ourselves as like, oh, imagination doesn't do all that. Imagination is for children. You know what I'm saying? Imagination is for make-believe stuff. But imagination is your vision. All right. You have to understand your imagination is a gift. It helps create your vision. Without your imagination, you wouldn't have a vision. All right? The second thing that you need to understand on how to make your vision happen is you need to live in your mind as if you're already where you want to be. And I'm going to give you all an example on that. You have to live in your mind like you're already where you want to be. All right? Every single day, we make tens of thousands of choices. Tens and thousands of choices. Statistically, it's proven that we take 35,000 choices a day, whether that's putting your left sock before your right one on, whether that's putting on your right shoe before your left one on, whether that's doing some, something at a certain time and changing your mind on it. We make tens of thousands of choices, but you have to understand, you have to ask yourself, what would this version of myself do in this situation? When you have a vision that's fueled from your imagination, you have to put yourself in your future shoes. Meaning, if it's the weekend, and this is a very cliche example, but I'm just being real with y'all. If it's the weekend, and you wanna have fun, and you have a group of friends that wanna have fun, but in your imagination, you wanna be somewhere forward in life, you have to ask yourself, what would the version of me who is more successful, who is more healthier, who is more financially stable do in this situation? What are the actions that this person would do, this version of me would do? And that's one of the reasons why we get motivated off of watching people accomplish things. That's why we get motivated off of motivational videos because our imagination becomes reality, but it's not our life, it's their life. And that's why it gives so much hope. But I'm here to tell you, in order to unlock that next level, in order to accomplish making your vision reality, you have to ask yourself the question, what would this version of myself do? What would the healthier version of myself do? What would the smarter version of myself do? What would the wiser version of myself do? What would the more responsible, time, time manageable version of myself do in this situation? Would I procrastinate? Would I procrastinate if I had this situation? Would I procrastinate if I had this type of lifestyle? You have to ask, your, you have to ask that question to yourself because there's so many choices that we take unconsciously that leads us into the same loop. It keeps us on the hamster wheel. All right. The third thing that you need to know when it when it comes down to making your vision happen is stop listening to negative people, even if they're your family, even if they're your loved ones, even if it's your closest friends. All right. Stop listening to negativity. Now, I've gone on this podcast plenty of times and I've said, yo, stop listening to negative songs, whatnot. But I'm talking about the people that you choose another choice that you make on who you hang around, what you listen to, okay? Recently, I was listening to a motivational speech and it was talking about how our dreams manifest into reality. In this, in this podcast, we're talking about how we can make your vision into your reality, how your vision is fueled by your imagination and how you can make that your reality. You see, when something starts as a thought, it starts just like everything else in this world. Everything starts as a thought. You started as a thought. 
the people who created you and jointed together, y'all know what I'm talking about, they thought of an action that was going to either purposely create a baby or accidentally create a baby. But it started as a thought. Your phone started as a thought. Before it was invented, somebody thought of a device that was, that was going to enable us to communicate together. Everything started as a thought, all right? And so if you have a thought and it's not reality yet, you don't need to share it with everybody because I promise you, we both, we all know this, that society is more negative than positive. Meaning if you share it with somebody that you're cool with, you share it with somebody that you're not enemies with. Listen, let's be honest here. It's easy not to share your dreams and goals and visions to people that you don't like. The problem is that you share it with people who you do like, but they don't even have their vision in their reality. So what do you expect to get out of them? Stop listening to negative people. Most people are going to tell you something negative. Most people are going to question, really? You want to do that? Really? You trying to do this? Well, how are you going to, you don't need to figure out everything and all the nicks and dimes of how to get your vision, your reality. You just need to know that you need to protect it, that you need to question yourself. What would this version of myself do? And then it will eventually become your reality. All right. The last thing that I want to say, the last thing I want to say when it comes down to how to make your vision happen, how to make your vision, your reality is only listen to those that lift you up and show you how it's possible. Only listen to those who lift you up. Let's talk about that right quick. Very easy statement. Because again, we don't like to talk to people that we don't genuinely agree with. We don't like to talk to people who are our enemies. That's the easy part. But let's talk about the hard part. The people that you have different conversations with because you vibe with them. It's nothing wrong with that. But at the end of the day, you have to make sure that you listen to people who lift you up. Again, people questioning how are you going to do it, how, how is this, and talking about your past, giving you all these questions, putting worry and doubt inside of you, they're not lifting you up. You need to surround yourself with people who believe in you and can give you the power, give you the information, give you the knowledge to walk away and do it on your own. Keep in mind... I said, walk away and do it on your own. Some people will pacify you and give you bits and pieces of information on how to create your vision because they always want you to leech to them because they want you to be inferior to them. That's something that happens a lot of the times in job industries. They'll tell you how to get a certain position. They'll tell you how to do the job, but they don't want you doing better than them. You need to make sure that, you're that you are sharing information, that you are speaking to people who are lifting you up and showing you how it's possible, how to get in their position. Because success is abundant. Success is abundant. Thinking of a thought is abundant. Your imagination fuels your vision and you can make your vision your reality. Society thinks everybody deserves to have their advice in your business. That's another point I wanna say. When it comes down to only listening to those that lift you up and show you how it's possible, in today's world, social media, the news, going out in public, everybody has an opinion. Everybody wants to put in their two cents. Oh, I think you should do this. I think you should do this. Oh, why would you do that? Or my cousin did this and he ended up this way. So I think you should do it this way. No, you need to do it your way because this is your vision, your imagination, your life, not theirs. All right. If they're not in a position that you want to be in life, you don't need to follow them. And I mean that to the deepest core. You don't need to follow their advice. You don't need to listen to the words they say. I don't care if it's your blood. Because they, even if it's your blood and it's someone who genuinely cares about you, they can only help you to the best of their ability. Meaning if they weren't able to accomplish their vision in life, if they weren't in the same category grinding, in the same category, wanting the same excess as you want in life, how can they tell you what to do? How can they tell you what to do? If I want to get in shape and my whole family has never been in shape, but they know people who've been in shape, how can they tell me how to get in shape? Don't you think if we had a vice to put us forward in life, we would use it? If I dropped $100 on a sidewalk, wouldn't people rush to pick it up? Some people would bring it back to me. Some people are honest out here. Some people would pick it up real quick, rush it, put it in their pocket, walk off with it, right? The point is, people will rush to satisfy themselves. People will rush to make sure they feel like they're worth something. And you have to understand that you only need to listen to people who are doing what you want to do. As simple as that. That is how you get your quickest answer. That's how you get your vision into your reality. All right?
That's all I want to say in today's podcast. One of the one of the things I want to share as an inspiration, I'm gonna give y'all a little bonus. I didn't even know I was doing this until six years later. But when I graduated high school, a lot of you all know I graduated high school, I was 110 pounds wet. 110 pounds wet, 5'10. And what inspired me to work out, I had watched two movies. Two movies of these guys working out, and then it was another movie of a guy who was skinny, and he started working out. Nevertheless, I literally, I literally imagined myself in that position. I literally told myself, if that can happen for him, even though it was a movie, right? <laughs> even though it was a movie, it could have been fake, whatever. But I told myself, that is going to be me. Your imagination has power. Your vision has power. But you need to step in the right directions. You need to make sure that you're not listening to negativity. You need to make sure that you're living in a questionable world for yourself. What would this version of myself do? You need to make sure that you understand your imagination is a gift. Because as long as you take it for granted, your vision is never gonna happen. As long as you share it randomly, as long as you share it with people who are close to you, who have never been where you wanna go, you're gonna be confused your whole life. You're gonna be on a hamster wheel your whole life. Trust me, take it from me, please. 24 years old, I dropped out of school eight months ago, quit my nine to five over a year ago, Ended up getting into a mentorship after trying to be an online coach for six to seven years, not having any type of success. I learned more in one month than I have in four years being an online coach because I surrounded myself by the right people. I listened to positive people who lifted me up. I listened to people who were in the position that I wanted to be in and they didn't want to hold back on information because success is abundant. And if you're listening to people who don't want to share information, if you're listening to people who want to always seem like they're right and they're not even in the position that you want to be in life, they're holding you back. Detach yourself from those people. It's cool to keep contact with them, but detach yourself from those people because they're not gonna get you any closer than where you need to be when it comes down to making your vision your reality. That's it, that's all, that's today. That's today's podcast. I hope you all got value from it on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. If you're watching this on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. If you're listening to this on Anchor, Spotify, or Apple Podcasts, make sure you leave a review down below if this podcast gave you some sort of value. If you're watching this on Facebook or Instagram, make sure that you go ahead and DM, DM me any podcast requests, questions, or concerns in, in Instagram, in the DM, at Ask you Fitness. You know what we do. We stay grinding. We stay getting 1% better each and every single day. I'm out. Let's get it.